scientific facts and health benefits in Quran. Quran 75.4 stated that Allah is able to fashion us in perfect order, even the very tips of our fingers, or what we call the fingerprints. So why the fingerprints and not the kidney, nor our brain cells, or any veins? Science proved that our fingertips, especially this part of the body, is one of the most complicated parts, and that is comparing to our eyes, heart, or even the brain, because it is carrying a unique fingerprints. Different person, different unique fingerprints patterns that is now being used. That is to catch criminals, checking identity, or every known person there is. Your own fingerprints is yours alone and cannot be duplicated, not even in other species. Now let's go to the olive oil. Science found that olive oil emits a coherent light that makes it glow by fluorescence. The same way how our planet Earth glow. Before the existence of the science discovery that detect fluorescent light emitted by plants on planet Earth or even the discovery of quantum theories that explains how it all works. The Quran actually addressed this, a very interesting context about the blessed olive tree and even its oil in a very profound verse in Ayah An nur 2435 that stated that Allah's light is like a niche in which there is a lamp. The lamp is in crystal or crystal-like shining star lit from the oil of the blessed olive tree, whose oil would almost glow. Anything science just found that could be recently or past few years, especially about this universe and the balance of it, are already written in Quran. Could science can duplicate creation of Allah or science just now discovered it? Let's go now to one of the pillars of Islam, which is what we call Saum or fasting, and let's connect it through science and discuss its benefits. Fasting is not only in Ramadan. We also have an every week fasting. That's every Monday and Thursday, and any six days in the lunar or the month of Shawwal. No water, no food. That's from sunrise to sunset. According to science, when the human body is hungry, it eats itself and does a cleansing process, removing all sick cells, cancer, and even aging cells. And that includes Alzheimer's and can boost working memory and even your verbal memory. Intermittent fasting improve blood pressure and resting heart rates, even your physical performances. Now let's go to the process of how Muslim prays, or what we call prostration, the standing, or what we call kushua, the bowing, or ruqa, the prostration or sujud. In science, under Physical Medicine Institute, discuss the physical benefits of Islamic prayer, especially on the human body. Our act of prayer requires the body to move through several distinct body postures, and that is why reciting a supplication and considered salah as an excellent physical exercise. Salah is performed five times a day, each prayer comprising of a certain number of repetitive units, or what we called raka, repeats raka a minimum of 17 times a day, total of 48 raka per day. This will ease the balance of the body and even your lower back. And that is brought into a neutral position and even activating core muscles at the same time. Raka is a forward flexion of our lumbar spine and flexion even the hip joints, including the knee joints that bears load in extension, while sujud, maintaining the lower back flexed and forehead resting on the floor, allow postural neck muscles to be activated in order to control the neural head, especially of its position, by just lowering down. And then the neck turns when we say our salam at the end of the prayer. Our heads perform rotational movements over the cervical vertebrae that improves range of motion on the neck and stretching the trapezius fibers. Salah is considered a yoga in our modern world. And these are the reason why I always told you that Islam is more than just a religion, but a guide of human life here on earth. Salam alaikum. Thank <laughs> you.